From the lovely African beehive huts to modern geodesic ones, domes are marvels of invention and beauty. A dome is an architectural element resembling a sphere's upper hollow half. The use of domes is considered a sign of tradition in many nations. From early Mesopotamia to Roman, Persian and even Chinese architecture, you can find domes in every era. However, the most famous domes in the world today are an important part of religious sites and government buildings. This list of the most famous domes in the world includes domes with epic architecture and those are of massive size and cultural significance. Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to Sunny's List of Things. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The Hungarian Parliament, Budapest The Hungarian Parliament stretches 268 metres or 879 feet in its length along the Danube embankment on the Pest side of the city. Ornamented with white neo-Gothic turrets and arches, it forms the most outstanding landmark in Budapest and is one of Budapest's top things to do. The unique interior design includes huge halls, over 20 kilometers or 12 and a half miles of corridors, and a 96 meter high, that's 315 feet, central dome. Interestingly, a red star sat atop the dome during the People's Republic of Hungary era. It was removed in 1990 after the fall of communism. Putra Mosque, Malaysia The Putra Mosque is the principal mosque of Putradrara in Malaysia. Construction on the mosque began in 1997 and was completed two years later. The pink domed Putra Mosque is constructed with rose tinted granite and can accommodate 15,000 worshippers at any one time. What's more, it has as many as nine domes, with the height of the outer dome being 50 meters or 160 feet. Hence, it's one of the world's most famous domes. However, what makes it special is that the dome also has a 116 meter or 381 feet minaret, making the mosque's minaret the world's third tallest. Furthermore, one of its most distinctive features is the fact that it is patterned with white and pink granite tiles. The pink might seem a bit too much, but the stained glass windows contrast nicely with the colour variances. Reichstag, Berlin the Reichstag is a fitting example of Berlin's weird mix of the old and new. The original building was constructed in 1884 and fell into disrepair during the Second World War. Later, restoration happened after reunification, with the ethereal and strikingly modern glass dome added to it, designed by Sir Norman Foster. The massive glass dome offers a 360 degree view of the surrounding cityscape and is open to the public. You can reach the top by climbing two steep spiralling ramps that will remind you of a double helix. Finally, a central mirrored cone in the dome directs sunlight into the structure, allowing you to see the workings of the chamber. St. Paul's Cathedral, London 
St. Paul's is an architectural masterpiece and its dome is a landmark of the London skyline. This structure has held a cathedral since 604 AD. The present cathedral was built between 1675 and 1710, after the Great Fire of London destroyed its predecessor in 1666. Its stone, which is surrounded by spires of Wren's city churches, stands 85 metres or 278 feet, making it London's tallest building between 1710 and 1963. In fact, the dome is still one of the finest and highest in the world and one of the most famous domes ever. But what makes it special is that it's a double shelled dome separating the heights of the inner and outer domes. So, you'll find the inner dome stands at 69 metres or 225 feet. Moreover, a brick cone sits between them, surrounding both the outer dome's timbers and the weight of the ornate stone lantern rising above it. The architect, Sir Christopher Wren, drew inspiration from Michelangelo's St. Peter's Basilica Dome. St. Peter's Basilica, Rome St. Peter's Basilica in Rome is not just one of the top things to do in Rome, but also an amazing feat of architecture and art and one of the city's most beautiful buildings. It is the world's largest basilica of Christianity, nestled into the heart of the Vatican City. The indigenous St. Peter's Basilica was constructed by the will of Emperor Constantine around 320 AD. For about a thousand years, the basilica grew and thrived, but it was also the theatre of pillage in the barbarian hordes. The cornerstone of this sanctified structure was laid on April 18, 1506. With an outer diameter of 42 metres or 138 feet and a height of 136 metres or 447 feet, the dome here is one of the world's largest. In fact, its height made it among the old world's tallest buildings and is still the world's tallest dome. Furthermore, it has greatly influenced church architecture in Western Christianity. Basilica di Santa Maria del Fiore, or Duomo, Florence. The Basilica di Santa Maria del Fiore is not only Florence's religious centre, but also the city's most recognisable attraction and is home to the world's largest masonry dome. Occupying the Piazza del Duomo in the heart of the city, this massive Gothic cathedral was built in the late Roman times between the 4th and 5th century AD. Filippo Brunacelli designed and built this magnificent dome, which is one of the world's most famous domes. Meanwhile, the great artist Giotto partly designed the Compagnale during the 14th century on the former site of the Roman church Santa Reparte. The dome remains the largest brick dome to date and is the world's first octagonal dome and rises to 114.5 metres, which equates to 375.7 feet high, along with the lantern design that makes it so distinctive. Interestingly, the dome did not appear on the structure until the 15th century after which it became the characteristic of the Renaissance dome. Hagia Sophia, Istanbul 
built by Emperor Justinian in 537, the Hagia Sophia, now the Hagia Sophia Grand Mosque, is a former Greek Orthodox church. It was the world's greatest cathedral for more than nine centuries, becoming an imperial mosque when the Turks took the city in 1453. After that, it was converted into a museum in 1935, finally becoming a mosque again in 2020. It's mostly the Hagia Sophia dome that makes the structure so world famous. The structure is built using Roman brick and ashlar and is 33 meters or 108 feet in diameter. But what makes it so distinctive is that it is the world's largest interior space and amongst the very first to have a full pendictive dome. The dome, which rises to 55.6 meters or 182 feet, rests on a magnificent arcade of 40 arcs. The Taj Mahal, Agra. The Taj Mahal stands majestically on the banks of the river Yamuna. The immense mausoleum of white marble is a symbol of love and romance. It reigns supreme as one of India's most recognizable and iconic images and is one of the incredibly beautiful world heritage sites. Its delicate minarets, gracefully curved archways and onion-shaped dome will make you wonder at its grandeur. The massive dome reaches a height of 44 meters or 144 feet and is a prime example of Islamic architecture. On the inside, the vaulted ceilings boast a gorgeous carved honeycomb pattern. Dome of the Rock, Jerusalem Built in the 7th century, the Dome of the Rock is an impressive, iconic, gold-topped shrine. It sits on Temple. It sits on Temple Mount in the old city of Jerusalem. The structure was initially completed in 651 CE at the order of its then leader during the second winter. It's the oldest surviving example of Islamic architecture and its golden dome has long been praised for its breathtaking beauty. The dome's interior has marble, facings and mosaic decor, while the dome itself rises to a height of 20.48 metres or 67.2 feet. The United States Capitol, Washington, D.C. The United States Capitol sits atop Capitol Hill in the eastern end of the National Mall and is one of the top things to do in Washington, D.C. It's among the nation's most symbolically important and architecturally impressive buildings. It has housed the House of Representatives and Senate meeting chambers for two centuries. The dome of the Capitol building did not appear until 1958, and it took a total of 11 years to put the dome atop the building. The dome, which rises 88 metres or 288 feet high, is built from cast iron rather than stone. Moreover, it's a second dome on the structure, having been commissioned and built in the 19th century. Besides the fact that the dome actually has an inner and outer dome, visiting is highly restricted and is only offered to select Congress members and their guests. Well, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I really do appreciate it when you drop by. That was 10 of the most famous stones in the world. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
then please hit the like button. Also, drop a comment down below and let me know what your favourite dome was. I answer every message, so come on guys, let's hear from you. Also, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel with your bell notifications turned on so that you know when a new video drops. So until the next video, please remember to take good care of yourself. Bye bye.